Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Here's another cool trick from Columbus, Indiana. I was there last week doing a seminar. I love going to Columbus. Great architecture there. You should visit someday. Uh, Roger, uh, actually someone in the class asked a question and I you know, just didn't have an answer. Uh, we were talking about formatting a chart and I always go through and uh, format these individual elements. So I might like choose the, the chart title and come here to home and hit the increase or decrease chart size and someone says, well, wait a second, back in Excel 2003, you could increase or decrease the uh, the font size of everything and I had never heard of that and Roger said, oh yeah, you just click on the chart to choose the whole chart and then when you hit increase or decrease, look at that, it increases uh, all of the text, the legend, the uh, axes labels, you know, as we keep increasing, we're going to get larger and larger numbers making the chart plot area smaller and smaller and smaller. So just kind of a cool trick there, never realized that you could do that. Passing that one along. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.